It is such a uh, wonderful day here at the uh, Asian Institute at the Crane House, celebrating Lunar New Year, of course, the Year of the Dragon, as you can see here. Um, we're gonna learn a little bit about the culture here um, with Araya um, O, oh, the local dance instructor here. And so what is Lunar New Year and when is it celebrated? And the Lunar New Year is the first day according to the Lunar calendar and the Lunar Year. So, and the normally is ended at the end of January and at the beginning of February. Mm -hmm. Now this year actually is February 10th. Yes, and so it is the year of the dragon and as you can see we have the dragon dance all set up ready to go um, but there's a different animal celebrated every year so why is the dragon so significant this year? You know in China we have 12 zodiac animals and then this year is the year of the dragon in Chinese long history mm -hmm. dragon represent you know Know, good luck, authority, brave, and strength, and a lot of good things. Yes, and so uh, the dragon is very lucky, and plus it's a long awaited because it's only celebrated every 12 years, right? Yes, we treated the, um, the dragon year is the most luckiest year in the 12 zodiac years. Yes, and so we have the uh, traditional dragon dance, and so why is that just so important to the you know lunar lunar year? You know. You in China, dragon means authority and the brave, and also in the older days, like a king and a queen is very, very dignified scenes. So the dragon dance is a people is a very traditional folkloric dance in China. Yeah. People mimic the dragon movements and they wish for good luck, good harvest, and the brave, healthy everything. So and then get over the disaster and the bad scenes. So normally we pre. Um, we dance the dragon dance to bring the good things. Well, I would say let's dance, right? Yes. So we're all set up, ready to go here. And it's kind of like follow the leader, right? Yes, yes. And the normally, and the follow the, the ball and the follow the head. You uh -huh. guys can follow me. And um, I'm going to do a little bit of dance here. <laughs> and if I lift up, you can lift up. We try to and make a circle. We're jumping. Yeah, you can shake it and hug it a little bit. And then if I put it down outside of the waist, you put it outside of the waist, your outside, yes, make a circle. Yes, and then try to make a circle. And then you can up down. Put it outside. Yes, outside okay. of your waist. Your outside of the waist, and then you're still joking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good job. And then you just follow the movements, and then lift up, one by one. Yes, try to make a circle. And, well, and then put it outside. <laughs> yes. Put it outside. This yes. is certainly so much fun. And so if you're interested in learning more about Lunar New Year, there's actually a celebration coming up this Saturday here at the Crane House. So if you're interested in getting tickets to the event, all you have to do is go to cranehouse.org. Coming up next, we're gonna uh, try some traditional Chinese dishes to celebrate Lunar New Year. Back to you, Claudia.